Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to talk to you guys about a product that um, the folks over there at uh, IoT Defense were nice enough to send me. And I really do appreciate their generosity in uh, sending me this product. And I just want to talk a little bit about it and what it actually does. Um, now, it is a very complex product, and I'm not really exactly sure how the thing works. And I just want to talk a little bit about my initial setup of this device and just kind of what I think. Um, it is something I'm going to re-review at a later date once I can try to figure out how to get it to work. Okay, and I've had a little bit of an issue getting this product to work. Um, what it is, it's a device called the Rat Trap. And in today's day and age, you know, when the internet first came out, it was all dial up, remember? AOL, you know. And, you know, back in the day, we didn't really have to worry so much about all these different, uh, you know, hackers and viruses and all these things that could potentially cause you an issue um, with your home network and a lot of your products. You know, I don't think anybody really really ever thought that most of your devices in your home would possibly become web connected. Um, it is kind of a weird kind of slope there as far as how far do you go with all this smart home stuff. Um, me personally, I like to, I love my tech, you know, and you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, and you guys know uh, I love my watches as well, but I'm, I've, I'm a big techie. I mean, I love anything related to the internet. I just think it's fascinating to have all this information and control just at your fingertips wherever you're at. I mean, we're, we're carrying around uh, eight octa-core processors in our pockets now uh, at a price of $80. I mean, it's just, it's it's unbelievable to me. And so any time that I get something that I can connect to my network, I get pretty excited about. And one thing I am always kind of concerned with is security. Now I have a very, very good, almost top of the line router by ASUS. It's got a lot of different ways to protect your network and protect your devices. But with all these different devices connected to the network, although that router is very robust in protecting um, what's connected to it, and although uh, you know your my computer is robust in the software it's running on to protect the the, uh, the computer and my drives and all that stuff that I've hooked up to my network, a lot of the devices that you have on your network don't have firewalls on them, and they're not they're just as secure as the password you set them up set them up with, and devices like your you know. Cameras, your surveillance cameras that are Wi-Fi, smart bulbs, stuff like that. You know, most of these things are probably never going to happen to a person where somebody's trying to get in to steal your information by sitting out on your street with a laptop. And that's why I always said it's very good to have alerts set up with your router and your system that in the event that, uh, you know, that anything connects to your network, that you're notified of that. You're notified of a new connection. And then, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not at home, and all of a sudden I get an alert stating that, I have another device connected to my network that's unrecognized. I'm going to get a text on that and know, and then I can remotely shut down my network. And that's just that's you know the the, the if are is that going to happen? Probably not. You know because it's not really anything you can really. There's nothing really too sensitive uh, or sensitive that I have that is really worth somebody doing that. You know I'm not a bank. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't have information, you know, but nonetheless, you do want to make sure you're protected. And this device is another layer of security to protect your home network. And again, this is called the Rat Trap. It's a very basic device that comes with a power supply, the device itself, and a short Ethernet cable which plugs. Um, now, you can plug this in a lot of different ways. Hang on a second here because every time I make a video, I won't get any text messages until I start making a video. And then, then that's it. So sorry, guys. Bear with me one second here. We turn the volume on this here. All right, perfect. So um, with that being said, what it does is it protects your network from any kind of hacks and anything on your network. So your smart devices, your lights, it's going to give you notifications and be able to, with real time analyzing, uh, protect your network. And it works off the cloud. So whenever there's a real time, it works with real time uh, threat detection. Anytime that there is a a, um, a threat, that information is uploaded to their cloud, and all these devices that are hooked up around the world are notified of that device, that potential threat, where it's coming from. So it's a very interesting device. Now, I haven't had, unfortunately, a lot of time to really play with this because I have not been able to get it to work. And that's not a problem with the device itself. It's a problem with the way that my router is set up. Now, I've used two different things. I, I have an ActionTech C1000A uh, modem. It's a combination modem slash router, then I have my ASUS router. What I've done is I've configured it to put the main modem in configured, uh, configured as a wireless bridge, and then I use my router to assign the IP addresses. You could do it the other way around, but I found when I was messing with it, when I first got it, that seemed to be the best way to hook it up. The only problem with that is that 
this is not recognized on the system. So when I put this in between my actual router and I put it in between my, or my modem and my router, it's not noticed, it's not seen on the network and it's not seen from uh, the guys over at I, uh, IoT Defense. And let me just read you a little bit about the device first before I go off on you know what I think about it so far. So it says on the box here, and their, their website is, is pretty large. There's tons of information, all the technical stuff about this that you probably will understand more than I will. But nonetheless, it's going to read you about what it says about it. Okay? It says, universal protection protects all your connected devices from malware and hackers. You have a mobile app, provides real-time alerts about blocked attacks. You have ad blocking, protects you from malicious advertising, uh, speeds up your web browsing. Plug and play, super simple, no setup, just plug it in, no configuring necessary. You have parental, parental, parental controls you can set on this thing. Automatic updates, um, internet pausing, blocks internet access during quality family moments if you want to set that up. Speed monitoring, monitors downloads and upload speeds uh, provided by your ISP. And browsing privacy hides your website, hides websites you visit from your ISP. Um, on the front of the box, it says instantly protects everything connected to your network. Starts rams ransomware, uh, spyware, viruses, and other threats. Easy setup, no software to install, just uh, no configuration changes required. Cloud-based threat sensors and automatic updates. Hide your web browsing habits from prying eyes. And optional ad blocking for all your devices. Now, I have to tell you, one, I'm really very happy that the gentleman, the guys over there sent me this. Uh, very nice of them to do that. And I hope it's something that I can actually get to work at a later date. Whether that means somehow getting back into my modem. And what's happened with, for whatever reason or another, I've tried to factory reset my modem to, so I can get back into the IP address with that, that they, that, that from the factory IP. In wireless bridge mode, you cannot access the menu anymore. So it's just been up and running doing its thing. And anytime I need to look at IP addresses or see what's on my network, I log into the ASUS router. But it would be nice to get back into the router. And unfortunately, without factory resetting it, I can't get into it using the IP address they gave me. Um, the other thing with that is I can't seem to factory reset it. Now maybe I'm doing something wrong, and I did read on the internet that there, you know, you hold the reset button, and then of course it'll reboot. But somebody had posted something saying that you have to hold the reset button and wait for a specific light, then release. If you wait too long, it won't do that. So that's something I might try. I just don't feel like doing it today. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll give it a try. And what this has, and I deleted the app because right now I'm going to come back to this and play with this at a later date when I have more time. But the app basically will show you um, if you're protected. It'll show you whether or not you have, uh, it'll show you the websites being visited, your traffic. However, I could not get it to work. And what I did is just to see if they could see it from their end, instead of plugging this into my, uh, my modem, then into my router, I tried putting it in what they call, I believe, a NAT mode. And so I actually put this in line between my modem and my desktop computer. So really, the only thing that would be connected or protecting uh, on my, the only thing protected by this device on my network, if I, if done that way, would be just my desktop. And they were able to see the device. The device was able to be seen in the app, but I couldn't get the app to refresh. And it said last check that it was like yesterday. So finally, I just disconnected it, and I'll try to do more research and uh, contact them a little more to try to figure out uh, why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Because all I know is it's plugged in, and I have no idea if I can't see. You know, it's not, it wasn't showing me any of the information on the websites I visited. It wasn't showing me any kind of download or upload traffic or, ban, or bandwidth usage. It just wouldn't show me anything. And so I'll, I'll drop that email and try to figure out exactly why it's doing that. If I can at least protect my desktop with this, you know, without having to re, uh, reconfigure my modem, uh, then that would be great. But the fact that they say that this can, you just plug it in without reconfiguring anything, that will depend on how you have things set. This is not going to be something you just plug in if you have a situation like mine. And let's face it, a lot of folks do have a situation like mine where they have your, your, you know, your uh, broadband company's modem, and then you use a separate router to assign your IP addresses. And you know that's the way I like to do it. I kind of like the way that that's set up where you have the information coming in, uh, whatever firewalls on the modem is one layer of security. Then you have my router, which everything is connected to that. That's got its own robust security. And then after that, then the computer's got its own security. And this would be nice to put this somewhere in the system. But, you know, for the price of $250, I don't, you know, I guess you could buy multiple of these if you want to protect each, uh, you know, device. But I don't want to have this connected if it's not going to show me what it's supposed to show me. And, again, that's probably just a setting and definitely something that I'll talk to the guys over that IoT defense and try to figure out how we can get this thing to work um, for my wants and needs, of course. But nonetheless, um, this is again what it looks like. It's very, very simple. 
There is your power uh, adapter. You have a couple status lights. You have device and a status light here. And basically, once this thing is hooked up, uh, they'll do what's called a heartbeat. And the green light will go from green slowly to blue and back and forth. Uh, but as far as the device is concerned, I just don't have a lot of information to really tell you other than what's on the box. And I definitely encourage you to check out the website. Now, there's other devices out there that do something similar like this. One's Cujo. That's another device that's... Uh, different but similar and basically what they do is they're just an added layer of security for your network there's one called uh, uh, again Cujo there's one made by uh, what's the other one um, the Dojo and there's another one out there too that does the same same similar similar kind of thing but um, those devices I've also reached out to those companies to see if I can get a sample and maybe one of those devices would be easier to hook up on my network I know the Cujo you can pretty much put that uh, from what I've read, anywhere on your network, whether before the router or after the router, and it'll still work. Um, I think what this was supposed to be hooked up as is a wireless bridge in the way that they show you to hook it up. But again, for me, it won't work. But I did look on the website, and they do show it, uh, you know, hooked up the you know, like out of the, my router and then into another wireless router. So I guess if you did that, you'd probably be able to protect uh, whatever's hooked up to that other router. If you had this going into, let's say, you have a fast. Uh, switch with a lot of annoying, really annoying. You know, like I said, people say to me, you know, they say to me, you know, you need better equipment. I'm like, look at this tripod. It doesn't get any better than this. Okay, give me a break. Hang on a second here. You know, I mean, people talking about high high tech tripods. It doesn't get any more high tech than this. They use this in Universal Studios, guys. Come on. All right, so anyway, uh, you get the point. So I will mess around with this more, and I will continue to let you guys know uh, what information I find out on how we can get this to work uh, properly. But what I was saying before uh, my, my fabulous tripod uh, lost its suction there on the table is that um, you could, in my situation, I could actually, if I wanted to, one day upgrade my... Um, I have right now basically the five outputs on the uh, on the router that I use with my network attached storage, my desktop, um, what else, uh, what else hook up to that, my, uh, my UMA phone system, so all those devices run off that particular device, uh, my Magic Jack as well. So what I could do at a later date is I could run this out and instead of using, and I also have a, a, a fast port switch, right, for my other devices like the old Xbox, those kind of things, but my switch is only capable of running um, I believe it's a, it's not a gigabyte switch, so I'd have to upgrade that. And I haven't done it because those devices I barely use, and it, they don't really need to have a gigabyte connection. Uh, but if I ever want to use this uh, in, um, in order to just protect every wired device on my network, I could get another switch and put this in line, which is something I may end up doing uh, just so the fact that I can use it uh, if I choose to not reconfigure my um, my uh, my modem because I really don't want to have my modem assign the IP addresses. You know what? I guess whatever is more efficient and better for the network. I just feel like I spent 200 bucks on a ASUS state-of-the-art router, and I feel like that is better than my Action Tech router. So I'd rather have that handle. You know, if it's got a better processor, it's got better a better RAM. You know, I'd rather have that assign the IP addresses and take the workload off the the Action Tech. I mean, that's kind of the reason I bought it. So I really don't want to go back into the router or the modem and take that out of wireless bridge mode just so I can use this. So where there's a will, there's a way. I will figure out a way to at least protect some of the devices on my network using this. But I, I do want to have it be able to recognize the traffic coming through my, at least between my, my desktop computer and the internet. And if it can't do that, then something must be wrong. So nonetheless, I, like I said, I will come back to this and re-review at a later date once I get more information and try to figure out how to get this thing to work properly. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Remember, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that bell be notified anytime I upload a new video and remember give the video a thumbs up I never actually asked for that before but it does help uh, the channel of course so thanks guys have a great day I'll put a link in the description where you can also get this uh, should you choose to check it out uh, and definitely you know if you have any questions let me know I'll definitely pass those on to my connections over there at IOT defense and uh, like I said it's just a good good way to protect your network uh, I'm sure the device works there's some pretty pretty smart guys behind this product uh, we just have to get it configured and get it to work so thanks guys have a good day